Hey, show on my Kim. How about Shim? How shy? By Shim of Kakadash, the bonus and salutations to the elders and apostles of Grimstone Rule. Well, this is Reverend Nash DC Kim. Short lesson for the hopeful elect. Yeah, so uh, always remember there's certain things you have to uh, be aware of, man, concerning uh, your uh, journey in Babylon. All right, so. Uh, I always remember why uh, they had a great depression, all right? So, I always remember why uh, catastrophic events happen with the economy. And uh, you're not going to hear much of this on uh, your so-called business channels because they don't want you to think about it. They want you to forget about it. And they also do certain things with your, uh, with your YouTube channel to make you forget. You know, they take a usual... Uh, a feed that's usually subscribed to they could take it offline or they could just uh, unsubscribe you from that channel so that way you forget <laughs> and that's how tricky isa is you know they always like to play mind games but every day you have to know that uh, you are at war with the enemy and the enemy has all type of subtle tricks he uses to keep the people in uh in a forgetful land so uh, you already understand that uh, we had the Great Depression, all right, way back in the the twenties, all right. So always remember, you know, when the the market goes down and the banks are not willing to lend money, you know, there's a shortage of credit, and they're calling back uh, the margin loans. Things happen, all right. Banks shut down. People can't uh, get money from the banks. What's what's gonna what's gonna happen? You know, people lose it. You know, people lose their jobs and all that stuff, and they have to depend on the government to do certain things. You know, so that's why uh, you know the so-called uh, social programs <laughs> were expanded to get the people to be more dependent upon the government. So. Uh, you could just do some research and read up more on the Great Depression and uh, understand why uh, Esau, you know, had to uh, shut down the market and all that stuff, you know. So uh, it's always about uh, problem, reaction, solution, okay. So uh, I'm going to read from the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 19, all right. So uh, it's always about the opportunity for the elites to consolidate their powers. That's the reason why they allow the market to go in a certain direction. And, uh, and if it doesn't, it means that uh, <laughs> they're not pleased with it. Because they always remember they want to be in control at all times. That's why they have to game the system. And when people are beginning to catch up with them, all of a sudden they want to change the rules they have to create a diversion and that's what they usually do okay and the scripture already tells about there's nothing new under the sun all right so isaiah chapter 19 i'm going to start from verse 14 it says the lord have been good a perverse spirit all right the lord had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof. As a drunken man staggered in his vomit. And that's what you call confusion. People going around, they don't have uh, the answers as to why things are messed up. And when they, fig when they figure it out, all of a sudden, they're like, wow, really? It's this simple? That's your so-called uh, officials colluding with uh, the rich to make things worse for the people, right? Because they always have an evil intention, all right? To uh, keep the people under, keep the people in control. That's why you have to, you know, pay attention to what, uh, you know, to about what happens, you know, in, in, uh, in your society, you know, understand, you know, who's getting all these big government contracts, understand who's been appointed to certain positions in government, you know, CEOs and vice presidents of corporations who's coming up on Bloomberg to come give uh, their two cents and all that stuff, who's being pushed 
on news to give a commentary and all that stuff. So you have to look at those people and who they're connected with. And then you understand what's happening. And then you understand who's paying their, you know, who's paying their salaries and all that stuff. Who owns what network, who owns what uh, establishment and everything else. The type of products they're bringing on market and the type of policies they're pushing. That's how you have a better picture of what's going on. And then you, you pass that through the scriptures and then you have a perfect understanding. All right. Then verse 15 says, Neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. So the economy is going to be tanked. And uh, on employment lines, it's going to be uh, increasing, man. You know, people are going to be filing uh, for employment online. You know, they're going to be waiting by the phone. They're going to be trying to file on the internet. <laughs> and the sites are going to be crashing and all that stuff. Yeah, so that's uh, what's going to be taking place. And when you hear about the job numbers and all that stuff, it's depressing. And then you understand that uh, there's the Lord allowing it to happen because the Lord has to allow the transition of uh, of power. So Esau's system has to go down and Esau has to basically commit suicide. That's the reason why the Lord's allowing him <laughs> to destroy himself. Okay? So... Uh, Verse 16 says, In that day shall Egypt be like unto women, and they shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. Yes, yeah, so the Lord is uh, <laughs> shaking the hand upon Babylon when you bring out the words of prophecy. It's cutting this at least to the heart. And that's the reason why they shut down brothers' channels. You know, they, they make life uh, unbearable for our people. You know, they get at you sideways and, uh, you know, and uh, try to, you know, <laughs> turn your life inside that upside down and, uh, you know, plague you with, try to plague you with all type of demons and attacks. So you just have to stay spiritual all the way on to the end. You just let the Lord you have a shy. All right. So the book of uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 I'm going to keep, uh, I'm just going to read a short uh, verse. Verse 4 it says, And the doors shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up by the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, so once you do your uh, regular look through, and they look online, the Great Depression, was a shortage of capital and people could not get uh, capital because the banks when the one controlling it you know the elite were able to control you know the, the the flow of capital and that's what happens when the banks can't lend because they can't borrow from the central banks and all that stuff what do you think is going to happen you know it's going to collapse so they're going to go in there and take over those banks and extend their hegemony over the people, all right? So, uh, you know, people have to wait in line, you know, for food. Because if you can't, if you can't eat, you can't work, all right? You got to eat first before you work. That's what it boils down to, you know. That's why nutrition is necessary. And the elites know that that's why they're going to use... Uh, that against the people that's why they attack people's money they attack people's job and businesses so they could uh, get them to be dependent upon the teeth of the government right so uh, the more you look you know at a situation you have a better grasp of why they did certain things you know because power is a uh, very 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 attractive to these people all right, they have to uh, they have to sleep, eat, and drink it at all times because they enjoy being in power. They want to be in control at all at any time, you know. So that's the reason why you have to understand why the Lord uh, set them up in a uh, in authority, okay? Because prophecy has to be fulfilled, so certain things have to go a certain way. 
So the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 50 verse 16 tells you that uh, it says, uh, Cut off the sower from Babylon, and him that handleth the sickle in the time of harvest, for fear of the oppressing sword, they shall turn everyone to his people, and they shall flee everyone to his own land. So immigration is going <laughs> to go the other way, man. You know, they're gonna, people are going to emigrate back to their countries. It's going to be a long line of people at the airports, a long line of people at the borders willing to leave America because it's not worth it, because it's no longer safe for them to keep their families here. All that, you know, children about to start school and all that stuff, it's going to take a, it's going to take a back seat. All right. So, uh, Isaiah chapter 14 from verse 4. Let's see what it says. It says, uh, that thou should take, the that thou shalt take up this parable or this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, how had the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. All right, this is the future prophecy. After all is said and done, the Lord Shai has uh, put down the rulership of these elites. It says in verse 5, The Lord has broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nation in anger is persecuted and none hindered. So there is a reward, you know, that the Lord has has reserved for the wicked of this world, the wicked elites that turn people's lives upside down. And uh, <laughs> you know, the Lord is gonna let our, let the elect, you know, have a good time, you know, administering judgment, you know, because uh, Psalms one forty nine tells you about. Uh, you know what what the elect is gonna do, how the Lord is gonna uh, put them in shackles. You know when it's, when you read verse uh, verse eight, Psalms chapter one forty nine verse eight, it says uh, to bind their kings. Actually, no verse uh, nine, actually verse six, not so verse five. Oh, sorry, Isaiah chapter one forty nine verse. Four. Verse 5 says, Let the sins be joyful in glory. Let them sing upon their beds. Let the high praises of the Most High Yahweh be in their mouth and a two edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. All right. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgments written. This honor have all his sins. Praise the Lord, the Habashimasha. By Shimakwa Kadash. And uh, this infuriates the elites, man, all day long. Because when you read this, and it makes you chuckle and smile and lets you know that uh, you have a, 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 a Heavenly Father up there, you know, willing to reward you for being faithful and let you uh, have control over your oppressors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh second Ezra chapter six verse uh, twenty two it says uh, and suddenly shall the unsown places uh, uh, second Ezra six and twenty two and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown and full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Why? Because people are gonna be hungry for the lack of bread. All right. And uh, 23 says, And the trumpet shall give a sound, which every man hear it. They shall be suddenly afraid. Yeah, so fear is coming upon the land of America. Or it's coming upon the face of the earth. All right, and the alarm of war, the alarm of war is going to make a lot of people afraid. So that's the point, you know, they ask you, you just have to understand, man, that the Lord has to let these calamities come upon the face of the earth. And uh, it's just a preparation for us to be in the kingdom, all right? So you don't want to get dismayed at what's going to take place. 
You just have to stay steadfast and faithful unto the end. So that's just a point that I can hope you can edify our writers that you know. The Lord that keeps us all the way through. Shalom.